Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here for VideoCopilot.net, and welcome to a very exciting update. So, we've got a couple of new things here. Some of you may be familiar with the Video Copilot presets. Just uh, go to the tutorial section, presets, and uh, there's some cool presets there, some automatic stuff, um, just some helpful things. Well, in the past, they've been only for the English version of After Effects. So the first thing we did is we translated them into English, French, German, Italian, and Spanish versions of After Effects. So to install your version, just uh, take the Video Copilot folder and copy it into your preset folder of your After Effects installation. They work with After Effects 7, CS3, and CS4. Now once you get them installed, they'll show up in the animation preset section and uh, here we have Video Copilot and there they are. We're going to take a look at the SureTarget 1.5.1 update and we've done a few cool things and let's take a look. Auto Rotate, Instant Auto Ease, Unlimited Targets. So SureTarget automatically animates between 3D locations. Now it will automatically sync the rotation of the target layer with the rotation of the null so the camera will automatically rotate so it's facing the target. In this animation we only have a couple of keyframes here to take us from one location to the next and the other thing you'll notice is these are linear keyframes yet the animation is very smooth and the reason is sure target now comes with an ease targets function and an auto rotate function. Now another cool feature is the fact that you can add as many targets as you want by simply duplicating the last one and just adding a few more. Let's take a quick look on how this is going to actually work. So what I'll do is I'll just create a new composition and I'm going to take the text tool and we'll type sure target and we'll make it a 3D layer. One thing about sure target 1.5 all layers have to be 3D and we'll go ahead and duplicate this and we'll bring it down here and we'll just call this sure target auto rotate and then I'll go ahead and create a new camera and a new null object now make sure the null is a 3D layer then take the camera and parent it to the null so if you're not familiar with the sure target preset check out the tutorial energetic titles where you get a full in-depth look at how it works and what you can do with it. Now if we come over to our effects and presets we can take the sure target 1.5 drop that on our null and we'll go ahead and set up the first two targets target 1 and target 2 so target 1 will be the sure target text layer and target 2 will be the auto rotate layer and then we'll hit E to bring up the effects we'll toggle down sure target set a keyframe move forward and set it to 2 so now we're just going between these two. And now this is a linear animation. So if I were to look at this null and hit P, I could bring up the position, turn on this so that we can see it in the graph editor. And right now we have a linear animation, which means the velocity is constant and then it stops. So it can be a little bit jarring. But if I go into the sure target preset, I can turn on the ease targets checkbox and it will automatically smooth between the positions. So if I select the position, bring up the animation, you can actually see it's going to be a very smooth animation. So that's a built-in feature that's going to hopefully save you a lot of time. Now the other cool feature is the auto-rotate. So what I'm going to do is just copy our background and particles from the previous comp and just paste them into this comp. And I'll put them in the background here. So we have our auto-rotate layer. Now I'm going to move it down and what I want to do is rotate it. So I'm going to hit R which brings up the rotation. You can also just bring it down to the transform and you have the rotation right here. Now we're not talking about orientation. Now the orientation is controlled by the rotation tool. So I can orient the layer the way that I want. But the values for orientation change not rotation. What we're going to do is rotate the text layer and then we'll go ahead and come back so right now it's just looking at the layer and it seems to be rotated and in the previous tutorial you animated the null object to rotate so that it was facing the target well now just go into sure target turn on auto rotate 
and now the animation is automatically going to rotate to that target so we don't have to do anything now the benefit here is we can still take the rotation tool and you know make the text look cool and make it look the way that we want it rotated or at an angle to the camera but that won't affect the auto rotate feature so remember the rotation is tied to the auto rotate feature so something you can't do with the orientation is add an entire revolution so here I can just add a revolution by clicking one and so it's one revolution plus 137 degrees so watch what that's gonna do so you get a pretty intense animation I can probably turn on the motion blur and maybe add a wiggle to the position of the camera. So I'll alt click on the position. I'll type wiggle 0.2 comma 200. And now we can have a little bit more life. So I'll go ahead and play that back. So pretty cool and a pretty quick animation. Now remember, we can do some pretty interesting things. So I'll turn the orientation back to zero, but I'm going to change some of this other rotation like the X rotation and maybe the Z rotation just to kind of give it some wild movement and we may even just move it a little bit further away in the back here and I'll go ahead and set this to zero instead of one so it doesn't rotate as much and let's take a look now the other cool thing is that the 3D falloff preset also works with SureTarget now so check out the 3D falloff preset very cool and what you can do is I've created a comp here with just a quick animation and this is just using the sure target now we're gonna go ahead and use the 3d falloff so up here we have the 3d falloff 1.1 and we need to create a control layer so we'll make a control layer remember it needs to be called falloff so hit return type falloff with a capital F and take the 3d falloff control layer rename falloff to remind you drop that there and then we have the 3D falloff 3D layers. This is the one that you apply to the 3D layers. So we'll take that, drop it onto each of the 3D text layers that we've created. And then if we go into the falloff settings, we can make some adjustments to how it looks when it gets far away. So right now you can see it sort of tints off into the background. Well, if we set the falloff color to say orange, it's going to almost be faded all the way in the back there. So if I move forward, then it kind of comes into the view. Now, if I shut these both off, you can see what it looks like without the fall off. We turn it on and it fades it out. And that way you can create some really cool dynamic animations without having to animate things in and out at every turn. Now, a couple of other notes. I'll go ahead and make a new composition. And what I'm going to do is take this picture of the SureTarget logo. Now let's take a look at the Easy Reflections preset. So here we have the Easy Reflect. We drop that on an image and it automatically creates sort of a reflection. So I'll create just a gray solid background and put that at the bottom here. So here you can see what that reflection does. We can bring it down, bring it in, um, whatever's needed. Now I just want to point out that the Easy Reflect preset only works with images and comps and not with the standard text layers. So in order to get it to work with text, you need to bring it to the bottom of the comp there and pre-compose it into a new comp. And then you can put the Easy Reflect preset and just turn the, uh, the amount down or up in that case to get that to work. Also for the Star Wars fans, uh, you make a new solid and we can take the lightsaber preset and just move that onto a solid and it should work uh, just as described in the tutorial. Now it may say missing at the top, but that's okay. Everything should work just as you would expect it. Keyframing and uh, having a good old time. And the other great thing is we've compiled all the presets into one nice downloadable package. So download the project file for this tutorial and all of the presets are there and ready to go. And of course, be sure to check out the blog and the forum if you want to discuss some of the presets. Um, if you have any ideas, any of that cool stuff, please post it on the forum. And of course, be sure to check out our great DVDs. I'm sure they'd be a great asset to uh, some of these different animation techniques. And uh, I'm sure you guys will have a lot of fun. Anyway, my name's Andrew Kramer for videocopilot.net, and we'll see you next time.